Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the number of calculations in Radix2 FFT and we are going to compare that number of calculations with DFT. In Radix2 FFT, n is equal to 2 raised to m. So, there will be m stages of computation where m is equal to log to the base 2 n. Now, it gives with each stage having n by 2 butterflies. This will be explained later in next videos. Uh, the number of calculations in one butterfly are 1 complex multiplication and 2 complex additions. Now there are n by 2 butterflies in each stage. Therefore the number of calculations in one stage are n by 2 into 1 for complex multiplication. That will give n by 2 complex multiplications and n by 2 into 2 that will give us n complex additions. Now the endpoint DFT involves m stages of computations. Therefore the number of calculations for m stages are m into n by 2 is equivalent to log to the base 2n that is from here substituting the value of m into n by 2. That gives us finally n by 2 into log to the base 2 n. These are for complex multiplications. And similarly for complex additions m into n will give us log to the base 2 n into n is equivalent to log that is n into log to the base 2 n. This is for complex additions. Now we will exactly see how fast the fast Fourier transform is and we will compare with the normal discrete Fourier transform. Now this is the table of comparison of direct computation and radix to DFT. We can carefully observe that when in direct computation the complex additions and complex multiplications increase in number and they become very large when number of points increase. So complex multiplication also increases accordingly. But if you compare with Radix to FFT, we can see the numbers, they are very less and this makes the system much more efficient. Therefore, Radix to FFT is used. The number of points are written in such a way that when calculating the complex additions and multiplications, it becomes simple to calculate the log value. The log value can be calculated on the basis of log to the base a to the a raised to a as it is the same value or take any number say n then according to the rule of log it becomes n log a to the base a and log a to the base a is always 1 so it becomes out to be n so here we can see directly that for number of points that is 32 the complex additions is 992 and complex multiplications are 1024 but while comparing this with the radix to FFT it is significantly reduced that is 160 and for complex multiplication we can see that there is a vast difference in the number that in radix to FFT it is just 80 so it is always useful in computation and it reduces the time so it is really helpful for using this radix to FFT now we will see that how this radix to FFT is performed. Thank you.